Hello, this is Alessia. Today is Friday, the 6th of August, and uh, this is a uh, best performing charts of the week. So before we begin, I just wanted to make a big shout out to Pete, who helped me out with this new mic. Hope you guys should be able to hear the difference so that we can have much better quality audio. And uh, you guys should also have a more pleasant stay in the channel. So thanks, Peter. And thanks, guys, for your attention to the videos and I'm sorry for if this took so long. So with that being said, let's start out with the uh, first chart, which is Amatec, ticker symbol AME. This chart, this is the old chart from July 28th. And as you can see, we were just expecting a triangle to be completed and then possibly one, two, to then resume higher. So the thing with Amatec now is I checked on lower time frames. So we almost are sure, I mean, we are at, at this stage that this was a triangle in the way four. The question is, since we broke the previous all time high with the top with way three, is this one into a way five to then complete the higher degree way three and of primary degree to then have a quite significant pullback, which should be in line with the indices as well. Or are we this just one and two and then we're zooming higher? So if we look at the indices, then we should see further upside. However, of course, that is, you know, it's confluence, but it does, we're, we're turning Amatec, not the indices. So at this time, what well, if I take you to the hourly, you can try to see how this move down was. Yeah, this looks like one, two, so A, B, one, two, three three, four, and five, maybe. So it could be a three waves down, a three wave move, and not five. So of course, if we see something like, uh, you know, the train levels, during pattern levels up, so one in ABC, and then we may enter for way three of five and try to take the upside. Uh, more than that, as I mentioned, it, it's either at this point, this one and two, or we have a five right there. This is possible, but it's not my favorite scenarios for the time being. So if we move on to the next one, which is air environment, a uh, ticker to symbol is AVAV. This chart is also from July 28th. And basically, I was just trying to see if this correction 24 was completed or not. So as you can see here, we have a wave one with a question mark, because as a matter of fact, I was not sure it, I mean, you could, I think as well say that to call this low in place after such so much time and so much down movement, it's, it's not that easy. So, so far, so good. I'd say we had one, two, maybe already three, um, let me zoom in three and then four and five, perhaps. So four up and five. And now we are due an ABC lower. So this is basically a high degree wave one. It's possible. It's possible. Um, if we look at the overall Correction to a four. If I take you back from the COVID lows, we have one and two up in three and four. Of course, I was paying attention to validation level at around $87, but it was not validated. So at this time, this makes perfect sense. Um, we could try to, what I usually do is I measure for equal legs of the correction. So in this case, equality with W and Y. And if we want to do so, we see how we are just shy of equality, which would have been at invalidation level as a matter of fact. So it's actually good. They were not at equality. If we also measure equality of, we compare two versus four. So if we measure with two compared to with four, we see how we actually reacted uh, around equality. So equality of wave four and two reacted as a support. And of course, that fits the guideline of the right look. 
So, so far so good, I say. If we do get three ways down anytime soon, then it becomes really interesting as a trade opportunity for the to trade this way five to the upside. Since as you can tell, there is a lot of room up, of course, though, assuming I'm right, the trend is still relatively new. So it's it's a very risky trade, but it could be quite worth it. Next one is Neo. The old chart is once again from July 28th. And basically, after a move down, sorry, after a move up in five to possible wave one, I saw five ways down, directional wave B, and then I was expecting maybe a wave C to be completed right there at the 61.8 FIB expansion wave A. And as a matter of fact, it looks like that it played out. So this could be wave two. We'll actually analyze in just a second. We'll go to the lower time frames. But so far, yeah, um, I can get rid of this because I already showed you. Yeah, makes, we, we've broken the previous wave B. We reacted. It acted as support as well. So now we could be ready to resume higher to then go into wave three of high degree wave five. So actually this could not be, this could be one high degree. So if I actually show you and zoom out to kind of get an idea of what could be happening. So we have, this chart is messing with me, one and two, three, four, and now we are possibly in the making of wave five. So that is why I said that most likely this is not minor, but it's intermediate. So this would be wave one, not 14, but one. And uh, now, of course, this waves needs to be moved one degree higher. So now we're just going to in the making of red wave three, which is intermediate degree. If I take you to the hourly, let's see. Yes, this looks bullish corrective. If if we look at the initial move down is in three, which is telling us that the trend is still to the upside. So one, two, three, one, two, this could be one, two, three, four, and five. A B, so perhaps one less leg down to possibly uh, s s swipe the slows. So it takes the slows out just by a little and then it reverses to the opposite. Very usual, very common, especially when we are in a flat correction. So for the upside, as I mentioned, the best entry for the short term would be to look around here if we do get a wave C and then enter to the upside. Next chart is Antilia. Therapeutics. This chart is from July 29th. And I was basically after drawing some fib, very common fib retracement for wave four, I was expecting further upside into wave five, very simple chart, very simple analysis. We had a gap pop, which is very common of wave three. And as a matter of fact, after an ABC, we are now having positive one, wave one and two, up in three, which is not necessarily completed. So it would be one, down in two, strong move to the upside into wave three. So it makes, makes perfect sense with my analysis. This wave three is not necessarily completed. Wait for four and five, and then we may see a significant pullback. And uh, yeah, that's actually, that's it. Um, really simple after a gap up, which is definitely a sign of a third wave. If not a third wave, I mean, we had the wave count and it was a third day. We're still, this is definitely a bullish, an impulsive scenario. Of course, after a sharp move up comes a pullback. We, took the advantage of the pullback, we knew we were expecting wave four, and then we traded the upside. So the next one is Pinduadua, a ticker symbol is PDD. This chart is also from July 28th. And basically at the time, 
after a sh five ways down with an extended fifth, I was I was always looking ar around equality with A and C to get some kind of pullback, and I said possibly we are near a bottom. Also, we were at the near the way four of one S degree, so a very common, f f you know, it's a other wave tendency for wave fours. And as a matter of fact, we did have a sharp move up. I could count that as five. This move down, this little one, which I marked as two, can be counted as three. So at this point, we just need to wait because once again, the trend is still very new, but so far, so good, I say. We we did have reaction near the end, we were expecting it. So everything is, is going according to plan. We're not surprised by any of this movement. And then Snapchat, so snap of uh, this chart is more recent, August 2nd, and after one, two, similar to Antilia, gap up into wave three, consolidation, so this moving into wave four, we were ready to trade wave five to the upside, and we actually did. Wave four is completely right here, most likely. So we, as a matter of fact, I said most likely because since it's wave four and we have not broke this high yet, it can still go back down, but still it it is bullish corrective, so there's no reason to worry. We are going to crash because the, the trend is still to the upside. And as a matter of fact, I'm trying to look as a target for this wave three of minor degree around the 61.8 FIB expansion of wave one, which is around $90. It would be quite a long wave five compared to the relative wave three, but still it's, it's possible. So let's not exclude that and just trade the upside as long as we can. So that was it for me today. Hope the Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or doubts or anything that I missed and hope you enjoy the better audio quality. And once again, thanks, Peter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.